Hello and welcome to another edition of Top 5. Last hour Top 5 counts down the top 5 art exhibitions in Texas for the week of March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. I have my little <laughs> green there. And today we're shooting at the Prizer Arts and Letters in Austin, Texas with our very special guest, Carrie Kenny. Carrie, welcome to Last Side. Oh, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you all are here. Um, I forgot to wear green, but luckily there's a green painting behind me uh, by <laughs> Andy St. Martin. Uh, but we are definitely thrilled to have you here. And uh, I will uh, start off here with number five on the list which is Una Scott, Ink on Toast, and it opens this weekend, March 20th, and runs through April 25th at Mighty Fine Arts Gallery in Dallas. Yes, Mighty Fine Arts Gallery in Dallas. It's, uh, it's in Oak Cliff, South Dallas. It's been there for a while. They changed locations uh, a few years ago, uh, just down the street from where they used to be. So Una Scott's work deals with the connections between humans and uh, animals and ideas and her work is uh, she's a printmaker so she uses uh, relief printmaking to create the prints in the exhibition and it's just sort of like this hand carving into wood blocks very meticulous uh, maybe meditative uh, to explore all those uh, crazy, uh, they, they're sort of like dream-like um, images. They're uh, coyotes, uh, hyenas, uh, cats. So that's our number five show at Mighty Fine Arts, and you should go check it out. Okay, and uh, number four is called Finding Light. It uh, also opens on Saturday, March 20th through May 29th at the Gallery Sonia Roche in Houston. Yes, uh, Gallery of Sonia Roach is a downtown Houston art gallery, and we don't have a lot of information about this show, uh, except that it is, a lot of the, uh, the artists in the show are going to be uh, focusing on light, uh, uh, from projections to uh, what looks like neon lights, uh, the show features Mexican-Peruvian artist Aldo Chaparro, who uses prefabricated materials to create unique objects. And Jonathan Leach is a Houston-based artist, and some of his work deals with like the shadow play and color of plexiglass. And uh, Soledad Arias, Abbas Smith, and the show continues through May 29th. Um, please contact the gallery. I'm sure, as with all the galleries on this list, they will be uh, uh, implementing social distance protocols. So bring your mask and prepare to social distance, even if you've been vaccinated. And number three is Delita Martin. Uh, the show is called Conjure, and it is running from March 13th through May 23rd. Uh, the opening reception is March 19th, and it's at the Art Museum of Southwest Texas. Yes, uh, this is sort of my introduction to Delita's work. I looked at her work when we were putting together a list of 101 Black artists in Texas. And it's very colorful uh, portraiture. Uh, the subject matter deals with the, uh, reconstructing the identity of black women by piecing together the signs, symbols, and languages found in uh, everyday life from the time of slavery to present day. So, but it's, uh, it's really good work. And it's at AMSET and it opened a couple of days ago and it will continue through May 23rd. Which brings us to the number two show. Yay, it's uh, Andy St. Martin here at Prizer Arts and Letters, and it actually closes this Saturday, the 20th. Uh, it is called The Wait, uh, and the title, the title is a play on the word wait. Um, this show was supposed to open, it was one of uh, the first shows we had when COVID first started. And unfortunately, we weren't ready yet to welcome the public, so we had to postpone it. Mm. So 
the show, it's spelled W-E-I-G-H-T, but uh, it holds within it this idea of waiting. It also holds within it um, the idea of the weight of commitment. Um, and you can feel the weight of this commitment when you look at this work. It's really beautiful. It's all new. Uh, I highly recommend if you can come, we're open Friday and Saturday uh, from 12 to 5. It's by appointment, uh, but it's very easy to make an appointment online at our website. So if and you can come, you, I welcome you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Yeah. And I'll just add that you guys have done such uh, like, an, like a masterful innovation with the exterior of the yeah. space. There, uh, this row of windows but you build platforms uh, from which people can step up and look mm -hmm. through the window, and most of the work is in the, the front space of the gallery. So if you're social distancing to the max and are not entering any public spaces, uh, this is a convenient way to check out the show. Okay. And I should say that we are doing our best to social distance. <laughs> yes. This is how far apart we are. <laughs> And we're happy to do it yeah. because we're so close to the end. Yes. And speaking of the end, our number one show of the week is Christy Blizzard, Let My Body Eat the Sun. Uh, the show opened with the premiere of an opera by Christy Blizzard that focuses on celebrating and commemorating the 100th anniversary of the opera singer Caruso's visit to Fort Worth, Texas. The story goes that he was invited to uh, sing in the Cowtown Coliseum uh, and hesitated until he experienced the acoustics and it was a swimming success to a group of 8,000 spectators and to commemorate that centennial Christy Blizzard uh, created an opera and a performance based on that visit. And there is an in-situ performance video on the Fort Worth Contemporary Arts website where you can see the installation that uh, Blizzard created and experience her performance in the space. But there's also a link down below to the video on her Vimeo website. So this show is uh, multi, it exists on multiple levels. It's both in the gallery and online. You can't visit the gallery, but you can check out the work online. And it runs through May 1st. So there you have it, that's our top five. And we're very close to most people getting access to a vaccination. So we encourage you to go see some art, but do it safely. Get your mask, social distance, and go see some art. Yes, go see some art.